VBScript is a very powerful scripting language that allows you to interact with all kinds of environments. For instance, in this video, how can you mobilize the Internet through Internet Explorer and Outlook? I explained VBScript in the CD-ROM called VBScript. VBScript it is, has more than 367 slides and it uh, tells you the ins and outs of VBScript and allows you to mobilize the internet for instance. So to begin with we are going to create an instance of Internet Explorer through this simple VBScript. We, we set a variable of the object type by creating an object of Internet Explorer dot application that automatically accesses Internet Explorer. In another variable I store the address of the website I want to address, let's say MrExcel.com. Then we use that variable OIE for Internet Explorer to use the navigate method which has one argument at least as file. It could be that that website is not immediately accessible. So while OIE is busy opening that website, we use the VW script sleep method for 500 milliseconds and we keep looping until Internet Explorer is no longer busy. Then we use the visible property and set it to true, otherwise you will not see the Internet Explorer. It will be in the background, but still hidden. Uh, maybe we want a status text that says opening as file. And that would create an automatic instance of Internet Explorer and opens that file. Uh, it, it is clear that instead of using this one, you can also use a download file that you want people to download. So then you would say website slash download slash and then the name of what you want them to download automatically through this script. We are going to put in the same script another call, this time through Outlook. In this case I'm going to um, put uh, attach to my Outlook message the overview PDF file from the website genesispc.com. We ask for an input box to whom do we want to send this email for Outlook. Then we create an object of the Outlook application type, capture that with OOL. If OOL is nothing, then we have to set OOL to create an object. And if. Then we set OMail to create an item of the Outlook application and that zero is the same as OL mail item. Probably in VBA you would use this one but in VB script you always have to use the index number that comes with that item. Then we are going to talk to OMail for, for a few properties. The subject is going to be an important download. In the body of the email we say attach this a file to download. We add to the collection of recipients as recipients, so you can add many, many, many more. I'm just doing one. And then in case something goes wrong on the next line, I want to add an attachment that I find at www.genesispc.com. If that doesn't exist anymore, that file, we get an error, of course. So we want to not run into an error message. So we say on error resume next. And then finally we display 
that email and let the user handle it appropriately, whether it works or not. So here is the entire code. Where did you create this? Believe it or not, in Notepad, for instance, uh, other options. And this is exactly what we just discussed. The only thing you have to realize that when you save this file, you have to make sure that you don't save it as a text file, but all file types, and give it a .vbs extension that will automatically create a VB script file, which is basically, it's almost like an executable. It runs the code automatically. We, we could have also downloaded this file. I, if I had put that, for instance, on genesispc.com and then downloader.vbs, you could have downloaded that. But I have to warn you, the system will not let you download VBS files because they can be very dangerous. There is code in there and that code could interfere with your system. So if you want to do that, then you would put on your website you would type .txt, that is a harmless file, and it will download that. And then you tell the user, for instance in the body, the attached file is a txt file, but once you have downloaded it, change txt into vbs. I'm going to run that file now by clicking on this button. It says, do you realize there is a code in there? I'm going to enable it. And it's going to open automatically MrExcel.com in the background. So it created an instance of Internet Explorer. Um, then it's going to go into the second part of the code. Where do you want to send it to? I'm going to use a fake email address. When I click on OK, when I click on OK, it is going to tell me do you allow this? I'm going to say yes, I allow that. It is downloading the file. And there is me AOL.com. An important download is the subject line. There is the file in the background, overview.pdf, attaches a file to download. Just to, to check that that thing works, I'm going to open it for a moment. And that is the file I had stored on the website genesispc.com. So I, I cannot send it because that is a fake email address. It will give me very soon a message that that doesn't exist. So I'm just going to close Outlook. So that's where the file was. You need to know much more and you want to know much more about VBScript. It's a very powerful language. If you know VBA, that will help you tremendously. If you don't know VBA, you probably need much more help. The CD-ROM discusses all these issues. It gives you files to work with, and it also has files that have the answers already in it. So that's CD-ROM. It's called VBScript. My name is Gerard Verschuren. And you can actually find it at MrExcel.com or GenesisPC.com.